Recording again. Awesome. Hello, YouTube. Playing some more Jurassic World. Um, let's grab... I'm wondering if they can do something or if I need to learn a new thing to fix the common cold, you know? Medicaid. Request acknowledged. Cool. So I was going to say, we don't have a cure for the common cold. Um, oh, and you know what? Can I add another task? Resupply Confirm. that. Task slots full. Okay. So then we'll have them resupply this one as well. Uh, we'll get another Cardosaur or Ceratosaurus soon. Um, I should research medicines. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Um, we want to upgrade our power station first, because we should have that research now. So, power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our right operations. Buildings. Without power, yeah, yeah. we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Upgrade. Okay, empty upgrade slot. Oh, they each get two slots. Got it. Outage protection, one. Buy it. Cool. So, we've completed that quest. Okay, don't let this go to your head, but that was some very impressive work on that contract. Lachouette, I know that I will not have the skills to pay those bills. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually add another feeder here. Because I think we're pretty soon we're going to hit that level, I think. I don't know for sure. But because we're going to have... I want to put a couple of Edmontosauruses in here as well. And then eventually those Huayongasauruses. Um, I hope I'm saying all those right. Because um, this is going to be our, just our huge... All of our herd animals enclosure is what this place is going to be. Let's get them some shade up on top of this tree. Or on top of this tree, on top of this ridge. Um, all right. Oop. I can't make that any smaller, huh? That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit, you know? Yeah. And now I could even add another uh, observation deck over that way, you know? But I think this is good. This reminds me a lot of the original Jurassic Park, that like watering hole where you see all the herbivores for the first time. Oh, you guys. It's just so wonderful. It's just so wonderful. Uh, you get an alert when it's empty. Okay, cool, good to know. One feeder can easily feed a dozen dinosaurs, says Lashman. Okay, good to know. Let's see, have at least two of each dino. Yes, and so we do have two Struthios, we have two Sarahs. Um, we could get another Ceratosaurus, um, which we probably should. So, let's check on that. Can we modify the genome? Can we change your patterning? We don't have any extra patterning. I want to look for patterning genes, is what I want. Um, you have an unnamed dinosaur. Do I? Which one? One of the Struthios, maybe? Yeah, probably. I didn't research the patterns. Yeah. I think we got to do that. Um, there's so much in this game. They're actually, I'm actually surprised at how much they're just kind of like letting me stumble through this. I thought it would be a lot more um, prescribed, tutorialized, you know? Uh, okay, let's see. Alpine cosmetic genes. We're going to research those. Heck yeah. Four minutes. So we'll make another Ceratosaurus in four minutes. I should put a gift shop near these guys. Yeah, we. I put my my first gift shop and food place over here. I guess that was a bad idea. Um, so we have the clothing shop here. I could I could sneak one in here for sure. Or one over here. Oh, it'd be great if I could fit one in there. I might actually break these roads and make them a little bit straighter, and then sneak one in there. Um, but yeah, let's get another another spot. Um, how about what's the hotel do? Increases island visitor capacity. Well, we'll get that eventually. Fun and shopping. Food, drink, and fun. Let's get another gift shop. Do, do, do. Can I sneak that in here? I can sneak it, like, right up there. Oh, I like that. You can get it so close that you don't even have to make a path because it literally connects that path right there. That's cool. Fast food near the carnivores. I mean, don't you get hungry when you see a goat get mauled? <laughs> get the Hammond upgrade to reduce the risk of failing. Altering the genes increases the likelihood of the incubation failing. Yeah, yeah. And then that's the, the other part is, like, you actually want to, like, improve your genome to give you, like, more leeway, right? 
Um, oh, we've got a couple spots over here that have now refreshed, it looks like, or are new. Draco Rex and Triceratops, Draco Rex, and more Ceratosaurus. Let's get some more Ceratosaurus for now, but we definitely want to look up that Draco, Sor or Draco Rex. Um, oh, let's see. Three words. Contract, you, yes. Cool. We're going to make another dino for sure. All right, let's find our other Struthio around right here. I'm Claire Deering, and oh, I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to that set them right. That does sound like Bryce Dallas Howard. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Come on. Cycle. All I right, here's Struthio 2. What do you want to name her? But be responsible. Each life we create, even if it began millions of years ago, is precious and valuable. Truly valuable. It is Bryce Dallas Howard. Well, it, like, is the voice actually her? Did they get her? Because they clearly did not get uh, Chris Pratt. What should we name this one? Aw, he's so cute. Gotcha, Lush Whip. Cagley? All right, it's Cagley. <laughs> Oh, look, they're hanging out. Jazzy and Cagley. Bestest of buds. Look at them. Awesome. Cool. All right, so we got Candace over here. How's Candace doing? 100% and 100%, so that's good. Candace is just roaming. All right. Now, could I get, if, once I get the Draco Rex, do I need to give the Draco Rex its own enclosure as well? I wonder. Do, 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 do. Observation deck proximity. Like, does it actually matter, like, the difference between being this close? So you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Oh, those are cool. Gyroscope. Construct facilities gotcha. to increase visibility it's all kinds and keep of visitors the right side of the safety glass. Um. Let's see the just overall viewing range. Yeah, I mean, this is a good view range for this enclosure, honestly, between both of these. Um, oh, the Draco Rex is an herbivore. Gotcha. I thought it was a carnivore. It's because Rex, you know? Uh, all right, we've got more fossils. Let's get those going. Uh, we'll send you guys off to get some Draco Rex. Okay, let's extract some more DNA. Extract some more DNA. Sell that. We've got our Alpine genes, so that's cool. Uh, they will fight. Okay, gotcha. That part of the tutorial came pretty late in the game. Well, that's the thing. is like It's just giving me tutorial stuff when I click on something. So, like, you know, if I haven't ever clicked on the actual device, it's telling me this stuff super late. Um, but it's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, right now, I'm just waiting until we get some better genetics on some of these dinos um, before we make some more. Because, like, I don't want to make... Yeah, we don't even have enough for the Huayangosaurus, so I'm going to have to, like, send some back over to um, China to try and get more. Where's the Draco Rex, then? Is that this thing? What's a Draco Rex? I think Draco Rex in my head, I'm like, that's the one that they thought looked like a dragon, right? So, like, its head has, like, spikes on it and stuff. Can I name a pterodactyl after you? If we ever get there, I don't know if they have pterosaurs, actually. I don't see any in here. Yeah, I don't see any flying ones. Do another Struthio. I mean, we could easily do another Struthio. Um, wonder if I could fit another. Um, do, 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 do. A viewing platform of some sort here. Like, I'd love to get this. Gotta research that. Um, enclosure stuff. Electrified fence. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, I want these. Unlock conditions not met. And you need a second research center, it says. Got it. Alice, oh no, you're having troubles? Aquatic dinos will be the first DLC, and flying dinos will be the second DLC, says Azure, from a, a, a demo with the um, devs. Good to know, good to know. Um, okay. Let's see how our genetics are doing for our... Ceratosaurus, we're at 67%. 
Oh, we still can't get modified G like view for this guy, the like, cosmetics. So I guess there's no alpine for them. That's too bad. Well, then we'll just go ahead and incubate a second one. Uh, and I need to make a second research center if I want to get the viewing decks. So instead, for now, we'll just make another viewing gallery somewhere. Oh, like right there is perfect, I think. Yeah, that's great. That's a good zone. Um, and then that's nice because it'll draw people this way, which is right next to these guys. Um, okay. What's going on there? He has to get through that way, huh? All right, that's fine. Just like that. Cool. Oh, now I'm probably going to need a substation, huh? Or do you have power? That might be just within range of power. Which would be awesome. Yeah, power consumption three. It's good. All right, cool. Operational. Um, let me check our rangers real quick. Is there anything that y'all need to be doing? Add tasks. Uh, yeah, let's definitely refill that. To top up feeder. Add that. To the list. Just make sure that everything's doing well. Okay. Cool. I mean, I feel like we're making some good progress here. We're going slow. You know, we're going slowly, but that's, you know, I'm still learning the game. What are the stats on your D-Rex? Like how popular, happy, and stuff is it? We don't have a D-Rex yet. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're talking, to, you're talking to somebody else. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, Drake Rex population is tighter. It doesn't like having many dinosaurs in its enclosure. Good to know. We're making almost 100K a minute. That's pretty dang good. How do you find that out about the population? Oh, neat. Okay, so let's check all the dinos in this enclosure if we can. So those guys are fine. And then we have our Struthios, which they love having lots of critters around, so that's good. So the next one I want to get is Edmontosauruses. So let's get a couple of Edmontosauruses. Um, and I'd love to get some more genome for them, but let's get one going. And then let's check our fossil center. Gonna get even more trike DNA. That's great. Let's sell this thing because we don't need it. Okay. You know what? Because we don't have the bones for it, let's just go ahead and make two. A matching set. Oh, actually. Oh, well, it's too late yet. I was going to say, I could I could probably change the colors on one of them, couldn't I? Did they allow you to see what the species preferences are before making them? They might in the um, database screen. Um, it doesn't look like it, actually. At least not anywhere that I can see. Can carnivores eat your ranger team? I don't know. I hope not. All right, and then over here, we could sneak another spot. A clothes shop, gift shop, fast food. We can get a fast food place out here. That'd be nice. If you have more than like three in one pen, they can attack your ranger team. Gotcha. Dude, he's going right up to him. Look, there's like a person in there looking at him and he's just like, sup, I'm going to eat your face. Don't you test this. Don't you test this. Dude, bold. Dinosaur ready to release. All right. I owe you for this, and I won't forget it. Look how cute! What's an ACU? I don't know if I do. This dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus, oh, they like population. was they like originally social. uncovered cool. at a site in Canada. 
I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious. And who's to how argue? Cute. Look how cute that is. Shooting star, hey, we reached our 2.5 stars. I guess this awesome. means congratulations are in order. Sup? Oh, I think we've already done this one. Start Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. All right, so let's get the uh, ACU, rapid aerial response. Okay, we can get that guy in here somewhere. Um, Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to right. give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Okay. So we're constructing our ACU. That's I'm part of our quest. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Well, I got it, buddy. I've actually got one ready to release. Okay. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. All right, so we've got the Ceratosaurus ready to release. Angie. What do we want to name the new Ceratosaurus first before we start naming the Eds? Show me the. Ah, oh, there we go. A carnivore, I see. This time, a ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back. Colty. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Okay, and look, we're right at the edge. So social, we don't want any more of ceratosauruses. And population, they're fine, but we do not want any more than just two, it looks like. This is a side hustle that we should get behind. All right, so what should we name... I work with you anytime. The Edmontosaurus. Edmontosaurus. Whoa! Here we go. Your rep is off Cuddles. the charts. Cuddles. So you're getting a reward for the Cuddles and Eddie. division All right. for your work on Isla Man and Saros. Let's let this one get out. Now I'm wondering if this one will count for me. Because I had incubated it before I got this quest, so who knows. Yeah, we'll do Eddie. We'll do Eddie for the next one. And let's research really quickly while we're waiting. Because we did just get... We unlocked the ability to research. Oh, no, we even just got it. Savannah genes. Heck yeah. So the next dinosaur we do, we're going to try and uh, give it some savannah genes. All right. Eddie. He likes his name. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're cute. This is great. All right. So... We've got our two, Cera uh, yeah, two Ceratosauruses, a whole bunch of herbivores over up in here. We're still waiting to get enough genes to do the Huayangosaurus. Oh, and that did count for our incubates. So now we just need to research the reload speed. Let's get some more fossils. So let's get some more Draco Rex from Canada. And then we're going to have to go back over. I'm hoping that there's more. Yeah, there's no more space in China. So I can go back to the same formation. We're just not going to get as much, you know? Okay. What's going on here? Did we finish researching? Uh, okay, let's get... Is it an upgrade? Oh, ACO reload speed. Okay, cool. Got it. All right. Dude, this is cool. And then let's look at this. I didn't even look at this before. Here's where you come into the from the train. That's awesome. So let's look at our finances, because I still don't fully understand, like, 
what's happening in our park right now. Okay, so power. I'm going to need some more power soon. We're right at our edge of power, basically. Um, storm protections. Shows where guests need protection from emergency shelters. Okay, so I should add emergency shelters, I guess, at right. some point. This next bit is going to sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are going to encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel Why? are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. <laughs> what? Open the enclosure gate or otherwise let the dinosaur loose to attack guests. Which one? The Edmontosaurus, I assume. This is crazy. We're going to save real quick. <laughs> this is like the most ridiculous idea. Lambert is Cray. All right. Open gate. Did he, that was, was that him? He just bashed the wall? All right, so we're going to let him out, right? Come out. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to okay. bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Agitated. Okay, so where did I put my ACU here? Okay. ACU helicopter. Boom. Add a task. Oh, I don't know. Catch the freaking no dinosaur! Problem. Maybe you should do that automatically as soon as there's an angry dinosaur okay, on the loose. We have our runner. Time to tag him and back. Look at it go. <laughs> We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. My goodness. There it goes. They got it. All right. So it's tranquilized. Now what do I do? You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Transport team. Got it. Select the destination. Acknowledging yeah. asset collection request. Okay, let's watch this because I just want to see what this is like, you know. <laughs> so, dino down. Is the gate still open? No, I closed it right away. As soon as the dinosaur got out, I closed the gate. Because <laughs> I was paranoid for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how the grass reacts to the chopper coming down. This looks so good. I don't know if it's transferring perfectly on stream, because, you know, just like stream breakup. This looks incredible. That looks like algae. That's great. They made me lose a star? That sucks. Well, you guys just got the most exciting show of your lives. You're welcome. Oh, poor Eddie. This is just gorgeous, dude. Look at all this. It was nearly at three stars. Well, you know, we'll get back up there. We got plenty of money. Transport or sell unconscious dinosaurs and remove dead dinosaurs. Ugh. That's what you can do with the transport teams. Okay. Use ACU shortcut T to quickly select transport teams. Gotcha. All right, let's drop him down. Be gentle with Eddie. Eddie's a sweet boy. Asset delivery confirmed. There we go. Eddie woke up just in time. Mission complete. A million buccarinos. Storm defense station now available. And that the job finished, true and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. So cute. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first, us or them. 
ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. All right. Cool. Oh, we have a new thing. The Storm Defense Station provides protection against weather damage to nearby buildings. Oh, that's perfect. So this is why you want to make sure that, like, all of your vital um, buildings are, like, in the same area. And then this way you can have storm protection for all of them. All right, so let's just drop this down, like, right there. Let's, uh... Half it up. Perfect. So that'll protect all this stuff. That's cool. And then we also need to make a um, an emergency fallout shelter or something, right? For guests? Emergency shelter. So this is like for all the guests who would be at the um, at any of the enclosures, really. This one just barely gets to there. Yeah, that might be the perfect spot, actually. That. Cool. Neato. There's no storm on Isla Montanceras. Well, I mean, look. If you know that about the game, that's fine. But in the world of my immersion, all right, storms can happen anywhere, man. All right? Climate change is real, and it's going crazy. So you don't know, all right? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we got that going. So what's the deal now? We don't have a quest. Let's go to our control room. Fossils. We've got some new fossils. What? There's the Draco Rex. Oh, they're cute. They look like a uh, Pachycephalosaurus. Extract that DNA. And uh, let's go back to the map. We're going to send some... Now that we have cleared every zone, it's brand new. We're going to send some people back to China. Um, okay. So what are we waiting on? We're waiting on hitting three stars. That's basically what we're waiting on. Dinosaur rating. We have eight dinosaurs. Great variety. Great welfare. Great safety. Okay, capacity. Great satisfaction. So I need more capacity. Responsible management of our animals is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors. Let's see, where do I get my missions again? The contracts? There it is. Let's request some contracts. Um, Science division, as always. No contracts available. Please try again later. All right. Well, and there you go. We've completed all of our missions. So we basically completed the whole first set of missions. Um, can we get some Harry Potter names up in here, lols, for the Draco Rex? Sure, why not? Uh, so let's... While we're waiting, here's a couple things that I want to do. We want to, I want to build a hotel to increase our capacity, and we want to get some more dinos. Obviously, we could make another enclosure, maybe one like down here, um, and put something else in there. We don't really have access to too many other dinos here um, at the moment. Like we're getting more Draco Rex and whatnot, but beyond that, there's not too much. Genetics. Um, I don't need any of those. What can we get here? Electric fence? Why not? Just in case. Buildings are good. And then what do we have? Fossil center. Inventory space. That's fine. Success rate increase. That could be nice. Ranger station stuff. Reduced upkeep could be nice. Improved output could be nice. We're going to want more power. That's right. It's expensive, but, you know. Upkeep per minute is 10 grand. Yeah, that's a lot. Business is good, but it can always be better. Consider this contract. Yep, we're considering it. Uh, okay, where can I sneak you in? Terrain constraints. Hey, Hyperman, thank you for that eight months in a row. Wow, that's like 66.66% of a year. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. I'm just checking where our edges are. Okay. So I could sneak another power station in, like, back here if we wanted to, you know, keep them close together. Just make things easier that way. It would really suck if something terrible were to happen, like, right here, but, you know, it's fine. Okay. And then...
that connected? That is not connected. That is a weird looking little road. <laughs> uh, and while we're waiting, let's just pretty this up a little bit. Let's add some shrubbery. You know? Add some shrubbery. Who doesn't want a little bit of shrubbery up in there? You know? Add some trees, kind of like in here. Just break it up a little bit. Oh, did you hear that? That was a sound. Don't make those loud noises, all right? It scares me. Um, let's see. Does anyone know if you're limited when starting off on the first time? For example, do they stop you from researching things or gaining more species? I mean, at the moment, it seems very much like... Um, it seems very much prescribed. But what's this? Cyanodont fossil. No DNA present. Cyanodont. That's a prehistoric mammal, I think. Cyanodont. All right, so we need to do a couple of uh, successful digs. So let's, we still need more Huayangasaurus, actually. Yeah. So we're going to get some more Huayangasaurus. How are y'all doing? I should also go check on my, um, Make sure that their feeders are full and everything. How are the eddies doing? You're looking great. You're looking great. Perfect. Most unlocks require more than one research center, which you can only put one on each island. Ah, also missions unlock some buildings and dinosaurs. Gotcha. So we're going to be bouncing back and forth between our different islands. I see. Uh, what's our power output now? Um, Because I made that other one. Total power used 107. We, oh, perfect. Having that new station was a really smart move. Now we're set. Let's upgrade this. Let's make sure it has outage protection. Buy that. We're cool. Um, we're waiting to complete another expedition real quick. Do we get any more fossils yet? Nope. How long for the dig? Two minutes, and then we'll be done with that. So while we're doing that, let's see if we can't find a place to sneak in our hotel. How big is this? Oh, that's big. That's big. Um, could it? Could we possibly? No. Gosh, it would be so perfect if I could fit it right there. Um, that's inside the, uh, enclosure. So, I guess we'll sneak this one in somewhere over here. How about this? What if <laughs> the hotel basically overlooks the, uh, Ceratosaurus enclosure? How about that? You walk outside your hotel, and the first thing you can do is go watch a goat get eaten by a prehistoric killing machine. So close. The Does it need to be connected great. here? No, I think that's connected. Technically. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That's big. And he uses 10 power, so we're still gonna have like 90 extra power, so. We're set. We're set. Well, this game's pretty neat, y'all. Are you uh, are you enjoying watching this? What are y'all thinking? Go to fossils to see what was found. More of that to sell. Heard you killed it on that expedition. Extract Way that DNA. Go. Oh, this is gonna get us to our Huayangasaurus. This is perfect because then we're gonna be able to get two of them uh, made up in here. At least two of them. We could get some more. You know what? Let's make some more while we're waiting. Let's make some Struthiomimuses. They're cheap. We got high genetic variability, and I think, yes, we can do some different colors. So savanna pattern, arid pattern. Let's do savanna pattern for one. Okay. Apply gene. Okay. Is that right? Genome traits modified. Okay, cool. Skin, savanna, incubate. And let's do another one. Because they want they want lots of them. Modified genome, and instead of savanna, we'll go with arid. Okay, so apply that gene. Escape. Incubate. New viable genome, the Huayangasaurus. So once that's done, we'll do that. Enclosure's new. Building available fences. Oh, can you like upgrade your uh, walls then? Ah, I see. Electrified steel fence. Gotcha. So like, 
For these guys, I don't worry about it so much. I'm not scared about them. But, like, I would be worried about maybe the Ceratosaurus is trying to break out. So I would want to maybe put... Can I just, like, replace these? No, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. I wonder, can I click on these, maybe? Not on the gates, no. Is there a way... Someone tell me. Is there a way to upgrade your current fences to better fences? That I'd like to know. Because there should be a way. And if there's not a way, I would love it if there were a way. If they would add a way. Um, dinosaurs been successfully raised. Oh, these guys are so cheap and easy. All right. Let's check you out. This one's the um, Savannah. Ooh, stripey. So that one's kind of dark. Dark stripes. Light underbelly. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. Think of a name for the uh, Savannah one. And we'll go pop out the other one. Oh, transmission. Island unlocked. Isla Muerta. <gasps> yes, Site C. Okay, we're going to stay here. More known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island. The name, roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the Island of the Dead. Think of a name for this Fitting. one. Fitting. Humorous, even. Oh, cute! So this one's more like a bright yellowish green. Oh, it's got little pink highlights up on top. See, this one should have been Cagley. This one should have been Cagley. It's pink. Look at that. We're going to name this one Cagley. And we're going to name the other Cagley something else. Um, so this one... We're going to just quickly name this one Eagle, just because. And then, where's our other one? STRO3. What should we name this one? Strips is what a lot of people were saying, so we're going to name it Strips. Name them all Cagley, says G Warrior. <laughs> I love the color variations. That's so neat. And now we can also get Hwayongosauruses. Um, so that's awesome. So let's work on ha uh, hatching one of those. Okay, and if we modify genome, the, the genome is not too great for these guys, so this might make it un like unviable. But we can do different colorations for these guys as well. So the Draco Rex, we're still working on genome. But let's create one of these guys, see how he does. And now we're starting to get to a pretty nice level of dinos up in here. So I am going to actually make, let's, um, Landscape. Remove a little bit of this here. I'm going to put down another um, feeder kind of over here by this enclosure. Man, what a dumb idea I made putting the enclosure where, like, this thing would block your view. But, like, obviously it doesn't matter in this because it's a... Because of the way it works, but, like, how silly was that? Okay, and then we'll just go for flatting. All right, just like that. Okay. Um, so let's get another feeder right there uh and let me quickly go check our not our expedition center our ranger station uh, let's add a new team and let's get ranger team to go do get this oh there's a couple things what do we need to repair oh this is where he bashed the fence on route. i remember hearing that earlier when he was like he smashed his head against it um that was when we were supposed to like let him out Ranger Team 1, let's get you to go over here and Heading resupply the feeder that now. feeder. Okay. Take photos of all the Caglies? We should. We should. Um, okay. So now we're getting our... Did we, did we incubate? Yeah, we're incubating. Okay. While we're doing that, let's head to the Fossil Center. Let's go view fossils, but let's send out an expedition. And let's get some more um, of the Draco. There we go. And then we might come back and get some more Huayongos so that we can get um, variation in color patterning. But I do want to see what this dude's uh, stats are like. A group of Cagleys is called a Kaggle! Oh, I love that! Oh, I wish she was here to hear all this. I think a dino's going to die soon. How would, I, how would I check that, G Warrior? Old age. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Huayangosaurus! Yeah. Another member of the Stegosaurians. Oh, 
Oh, check you out. All right, so these ones, they want lots of friends. So I should get a couple more of them for sure. Oh, look how cute. Aww. Name her Yang. What's Yang? What's that from? I'll name it Yang. Check, let's see. Check the tab with the DNA symbol. Authenticity, skin, lifespan, age, expect. Ah, oh, I see, I see, okay. So. Okay, so this one's at 32. It's not our oldest one though. Jazzy, I think is our oldest one. Jazzy, oh yeah, Jazzy could die any minute now. This is good to know, good to know. Um, that's okay. We'll just make more, you know, we'll, we'll keep the cycles going. I know Let's you've see. handled work like this in the past, so this contract should be right up your alley. Get the storm defense station coverage on this island to 60%. What is it currently? 50%. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, see, I'm always ahead of you, buddy. Like this guy's, I'm, I'm playing chess while this guy's playing checkers. Yeah, we'll just sneak it in, like, right here. Why not? It's at an odd angle, but it's fine. There's some stuff in the way. There we go. Let's go to fossils, because we got some new ones. Oh yeah, give me some of that Draco Rex. Now, the Dracos need... Someone was saying that they actually are pretty, pretty solitary. Do I need to make a different enclosure for the Dracos? Um, all right, let's look at some different researches. Building upgrades. Fossil space. Eh. Where I'm standing, that's job done. Get success rate up, yeah. One of one. Okay. And we completed that quest. Soup's easy. Soup's easy. We're up to three and a quarter stars. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, did I send them off to get more fossils yet? I know I just uh, extracted those fossils, but dig team is not away. So we're going to get more Huang um, components because that way we can uh, upgrade them. A lot of people are saying to the next island. I think you're right. I think we should ch heck, uh, check out the next island. This place is pretty dang spiffified. I would like to see what it's going to be like when Jazzy's... Uh, dies so I know like how to react to that because if she's that close like I'd like to you know monitor that if that makes sense new viable genome Draco Rex let's get one of them in here as well while we wait and we've got two feeders in here we have plenty of water Everybody's good on population and stuff. Okay, I could get a couple more Edmontons in there. I mean, like, I think that having huge herbivore enclosures is going to be a big deal. This park is a tutorial park. Now that you know what to do, we can plan theme dinos. Yeah. Can a group of Anasias be called an enigma? I like that. <laughs> uh, so let's get this Draco in here, and then, like I said, hopefully we'll get to the point where if Jazzy passes, then we can react to that. Because it was like you need to send your transport team to go and get them out of there or something. And then of course I'm assuming you want to replace them. So that's interesting. So that's something that we're going to always have to be thinking about is that like we have to pay attention to our dinos and then care for them. Will it alert me if a dinosaur dies? Like I assume it will, right? A group of ashes is called a Pokemon. <laughs> Jazz was the first dino, yes. Yeah, it will alert you if a dino dies. Cool. Even if I'm on another park or do the parks not operate simultaneously. Price wants Jazzy to pass. Well, just because we know that she's about to. If you're on another park, if it will or you. Okay. You don't know. Okay. Aw, these ones are cute too. So for those of y'all who don't know about the Draco Rex, this is a more modernly um, discovered dinosaur. 
that um, they were very confused about when they found it because of the shape of the head. Sleep Cycles is now auto hosting us for paid viewers. Thank you, Sleep Cycles. Appreciate you. Oh, okay, so they really All like the having a second King, one. The Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating. Like, they feel bad not having a, a second eater. one. However, just in case they do rule the Earth again, don't tell them I said that. Okay, so we're working on that. So yeah, they, they really don't like being alone. If you look at their stats, he's in the red because there's only one of them. When you're on an island, other islands are paused. Also, money is not shared between islands. Unlocked genomes and stuff are shared. Good. Okay, that's what I was curious about is like, do I get to keep my money? Um, how come it's called the Dragon King if it's so small? Uh, because of it, the, uh, its head, the shape of its head. Um, let's see if we can't get close to you. There we go. All right, dino stats. So if you look at its head, See how it's got like those horns and those like nodules all over it? When they first discovered it, they were, um, the, the researchers were like, oh my gosh, this is like a dragon. And that's why it's called Draco Rex uh, Hogwartsia as the official name, because they're like, this looks like a dragon out of Harry Potter. And of course, all archaeologists and paleontologists are nerds. Don't know if you know this, they're all nerds. Um, so they, of course, love Harry Potter and we're all better for it. Jazzy, still doing fine. So we're gonna treat Jazzy as gonna be living forever. She'll be fine. My goodness, this game is cool. Dinosaurs must actually erase to maturity. All right, cool. Let's get you out into here. Skip a Rooney. Name the Dracos Norbert. We need to name them um, Harry Potter names, you know? I know some stuff about dinosaurs. I don't know too much. I used to know more. I used to be more uh, involved in it. Hey, CJ Dow, four months in a row. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna name you. Show Dino Statistics, please. You're gonna be named Weasley. Hey, an Enquirement just subbed with Twitch Prime seven months in a row. Thank you so much, Enquirement. We're gonna name this one Weasley. And then where's the other one? And we're gonna name this one. Malfoy, and they hate each other, but they're also best friends. Um, let's see. Hagrid named a dragon Norbert. Oh, that's right. One of the dragons was named Norbert. Oh, Norbert. Let's see. Price has no sling to hold his arm. Yes, I do. It's right here. It just blends in with my uh, sweater, my hoodie. Um, and speaking of which, I actually kind of think I might need to take a quick little break, get my ice pack or something going. Shoulder's getting a little sore. Um, what are we at time-wise? We've been doing this for a couple hours. And it's 3.30. Jazzy and uh, Ash are going to be doing a late stream at like 5 or 6. So we could still have some time. Um, but I think we'll take our, our first quick little break. And then when we come back, we'll move on to the next island. So it'll be like a nice big chunk. So let me, we're going to stop recording here.